Hi, how are you? Um, welcome to join us with the Grand River Academy and Kent State University Office of Global Education 2019 Summer STEAM Academy in full session. Welcome everybody. So my name is Sheila. I am the International Admissions Coordinator at Grand River Academy. Hi, I'm Color. I'm Associate Director for International Admissions at Kent State University. Hello, welcome to join us on the info session about this very prestigious opportunity to cooperate with Kent State University on this Summer STEAM Academy. Um, I think this is such a meaningful cooperation for, for our students to be able to participate in a summer camp that works with a university. So first of all, let me introduce a little bit about uh, Grand River Academy and what our mission is. So we are a traditional college preparatory boarding and day school that helps young men to activate their academic, emotional, and social potential and prepares them for lifelong success. We're located in Northeast Ohio. Our um, time of establishment is at 1831. So we've, we've been here since 1831. It's been, uh, it's been a while. <laughs> Our location is at Northeast Ohio, like one hour away on the east side of Cleveland. Um, even though, you, as you can see, we're on a more of a countryside setting. However, we are very close to the city of Cleveland. Um, we're next to the Interstate 90, so uh, it will only take us 15 minutes to go to Cleveland downtown. Grand River Academy is officially located in Austinburg, Ohio. Also, all of our faculty and staff um, live on campus so that way we can provide a very close-knit um, very supportive community for our students so that way if the student need anything if they need academic support emotional support um, they can just knock on our doors and uh, as a matter of fact, um, each of our dorms uh, uh, has a, at least a one teacher or faculty live in the dorm. So they can just, if they need anything, they can knock on the door and say, hey, you know, I need um, toilet paper. <laughs> A um, big advantage of being here um, and having experience with boarding school for our students. Talking a little bit about um, history uh, about Grand River Academy. Since 1831, a Grand River Academy has been helping students to find success. Founded as a college preparatory school, um, GRA has been providing all of our young men with the tools that needed to get a successful <laughs> life once they graduate. Um, while at GRA, students can experience a very supportive, welcoming env environment um, where each young man is encouraged to find his passion and to explore his interests. Um, we do have a very mature supporting system and a very well-established structure to help the students make sure that they stay on track, make sure that they get enough support whenever they need. Um, with our counseling program, uh, if the student has something going on and they need to talk to somebody, um, they can always talk to our counselor. And in it, as I said, in each dorm, we have a dorm parent. So if the student needs something, some support, they can turn into um, their dorm parents and ask for help. So that way, even with students that coming from outer states, coming from California, coming from Texas, all over the country, and even all over the world, students coming from China, Japan, Spain, France, um, they, they can get the support that they need to be successful in their later life. This is a little bit information background story about GRA. And next, I'm going to talk a little bit about our summer STEAM camp at Grand River Academy. We call it STEAM Academy because it stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Math. Um, so as you guys all know that the STEAM is more of a hands-on experience. The purpose of STEAM Academy is for the boys who entering the grade at 6 to 12 to explore the concept of engineering, the concept of 
just STEAM topic in general, uh, robotics, like um, architecture or arts um, at Grand River Academy. So hands-on is really the um, study shows that boys works better with uh, hands-on learning and project-based learning. So hands-on discovery and creation of, say, example, like robots and drones are just a few of the topics that we will cover during the summer STEAM camp at Grand River Academy. Besides that, we'll have a whole bunch of other after-class activities, um, in-class group projects to work on um, some of the projects. Like you said on the picture, one boy uh, last year, he was working on launching a water rocket. And on the right side, the student was working on robotics and he designed his own robot and tried to compete with other students. Um, so STEAM Academy is for um, boys entering grade 6 to 12. Students can build, can, they can fly a drone, they can code on their Chromebook, um, they can do a whole bunch of uh, um, creations. After completing their drones and robots participants, they will design a website as their final product to present their whatever that they're working on to the community, to our market, to his audience. So that way he get a comprehensive, not only get a comprehensive understanding of the theme topic, but also he knows how to um, pitch his final product. So I think that's a, one of the very necessary skills for modern students, even modern um, workers, um, to be acquired. So that's really interesting. That was really good introduction of Grand River Academy. Um, the you guys do provide a really good closing, like contact between students and faculty members is very personalized. Can stay is huge. We are the one of the biggest public universities in United States. Uh, in throughout Northeast Ohio, there are eight campuses, including our main campus. That's where our majority international students are located at. Grand River Academy is actually closer to one of our Ashtabula campus up in the north. <clears throat> For Kent State, um, as you said on the picture on the bottom left, it is a huge and a beautiful campus with a lot of trees. We have been known for trees campus for more than 10 years and uh, the city of the Kent actually had a nickname for the longest time called the Tree City. Uh, we have many variety of the uh, animals uh, around the campus as well too. You are constantly seeing all kinds of different birds, squirrels. So we're famous for having the unique black squirrel, a very special thing for Kent State students. We have 10 different colleges on campus, over 280 different programs available for international students to select from. And uh, for uh, some of our strongest programs that are not just the new in the United States, but also well known internationally. So for instance, if you have a cell phone or if you stare at this on the computer screen, uh, the liquid crystal technology was actually invented at Kent State University. Uh, we are the birthplace for the liquid crystal technology and uh, it has been still the leading discipline in the world. And, uh, and other strong programs, including the fashion design, fashion merchandising, which is ranked the top three in the United States. And in the worldwide, it's ranked the top 15 in the entire um, world. <laughs> and then some of our uh, other strongest program, including our architecture, where you can see the building on the top right, <coughs> right next to the Kent State Signature Arch. And then uh, there's also, we have really good computer science department, the business program, the analytic, business analytic program is also very strong. Um, and uh, um, some other like really good programs, including nursing education, are also very popular among students as well too. So coming to Ohio, and there's also other uh, availability for students to go study abroad. If a student is actually can stay students enrolled for degree seeking, there's also Florence, which is our own campus located in the Florence, Italy, where students can go there to study abroad in the summertime during the whole semester. And there's also Geneva 
in Switzerland, Prague in Czech Republic. There's also many other schools students can select from through international exchange programs. As you can see on this page, uh, to pair up with the high quality of a Grand River Academy, we are pairing up, pairing up with two very unique departments from Kent State. The first one is uh, the Advanced Telerobotic Research Lab from Computer Science. So students uh, will be learning how to build droids and uh, doing a lot um, on-site activities with Grand River Academy, but when they come into Kent State, they will also be able to see how those technology uh, moving forward be able to beneficial for the society and human beings in general. And those are some researches we are currently doing with the research lab. The virtual reality one, the autonomy for the self-driving car, and then also the human robotic interaction. And then there's also the droids as well too. So those uh, research um, that is available on campus that students can be participating to, that helps them to learn more about what they can do with the things they're building and what can, uh, like they gave us an idea of the, what kind of research that can be intrigued, they're interesting when they move into the college selection level later. And then there's a beautiful architecture. So that fits the art part of the STEAM program. As you can see on this building, it's a state of art. Um, just the building itself, it's a very, very magnificent. This is actually uh, one of the most favorite building on campus. A lot of students love to go there to for either class or just go there to like sit in the library and take a like coffee break. On the first floor, you'll be able to see a big lecture hall with a glass door. And there's also a big library section for students as well to next to the study area. And they also featured a small cafeteria that allows students to uh, take a break. And starting from the second floor all the way to the fourth floor, it's all open space studio. So for students who are starting from freshmen all the way to graduate students, all their like projects that they think they're working on going to be displayed on the studio. Uh, the reason why it was designed this way was to advocating can stays uh, the uh, principle for education is the study should not be a closed environment. It should be open environment. So students now just learning from their teachers, their professors, but also at the same time learning from each other. And uh, um, this, well, this, this building, the way it designs really kind of help to um, support that goal of the, the education, college education. And in this beautiful building, students will be able to take in classes, but also at the same time, understanding how the design and how the art, how the architecture can help in facilitating the needs for the people as, as well too. And this uh, uh, program is actually going to be led by our um, associate dean from the College of Architecture and Environmental Design for students with the Grand River Academy which is truly an, um, an honor for um, whoever's participating in this summer STEAM Academy because, you know, actually getting a lesson from the vice dean of a very prestigious college, it is a one-of-the-kind opportunity. Um, I just wanted to jump in and add that aspect. So um, with the idea of combining some of our strengths together, I mean, GRA, Grand River Academy, obviously is a very traditional um, college preparatory school with experience of providing supportive system and structure for high school level students who, for students who wants to get in college, for students who wants to explore different STEAM options, and with Kent State's strength of being really national top-notch technology and a cutting edge, providing cutting edge education experience and everything, combining that all together is truly going to provide participants a great opportunity to experience not only um, what, it, what was it like 
to be in a small class size, to be in a traditional independent school setting, um, to have some work on some hands-on ex experiments on STEAM, a topic, but also have that opportunity to explore different topics, different majors in depth at university to experience some cutting edge te technology in the university, I think is truly going to provide a um, tremendous opportunity for our students. So this is why it is a great opportunity. This is actually our first year of the collaboration. It runs from June 30th to July 27th. It's a four week program that consists of two sessions. So each session has like a two week um, for students who can participate in four weeks I fully I highly encourage you to um, register for four weeks so you can get the full experience but you know if you have some time time conflicts if you can only participate in two first of the two um, weeks or the last two weeks that is completely okay too so this way it provides some flexibility for our students and participants I think this is going to be a great program for students. Uh, it's going to be set in a very unique setting. It's combining the high school levels and also university levels. So that for students, they're now just going to be guided with uh, very patient and well knowledge, and well equipped uh, staff members from Grand River Academy, but also with a lot of the staff members, they will be able to explore the college academic settings and research topics that students might find themselves interested in with. They will also be able to take in classes on campus, really embrace the college atmosphere during this uh, summer program that will help in them really helping the students who are considering going to study for either college level or high school level as well. We find uh, our students are beneficial from experience like this and we hope your students will be able to feel the same way. Thank you very much. Yes, I think this is going to be a one of a kind experience for uh, K-12 students actually to get the opportunity to experience a national um, recognized university in depth. So usually when you participate in a high school level summer camp, um, they will they will put you in a lab, they will do some STEAM, um, STEAM projects for the students together, but the students, the participants, they don't get the opportunity to actually go to a cutting edge labs to experience what is really like if they're super interested in certain area and wants to go to the college in the future. So this would provide this type of opportunity for our student. Um, and for students who are interested in applying for college, for universities, and they don't know what major they want to get, um, they, they don't know what college is going to be like. Um, I think this provides some insights for the students to um, have that part of the experience. So that is really awesome. And I know a lot of high school students, um, when they go on college tour, it is a very superficial, it's just you spend a day with uh, the college representative and they, they, show, they show the kids around, um, but they really don't have the opportunity to actually sit in a classroom and receiving lectures from um, college level professors to see, okay, what is actually like um, in a college classroom setting. And this combination of a traditional college preparatory boarding school uh, with the actual university level classes and labs is really going to provide a student an in-depth experience on both sides, which I think is a very unique thing that we're trying to create right here. Um, besides, I want to say about um, the safety and our location because we're located in um, Northeast Ohio, it, it is a very uh, friendly Midwest setting. So um, I think it'll provide a student a very joyful summer experience because our neighborhood is very friendly and the Kent State is a very um, vibrant college town. So it has a lot of things going on during summer um, for our kids to experience. Um, so next, I'm going to talk a little bit about our schedule. 
from Monday to Thursday, students are actually going to stay on Grand River Academy campus. And as you can see on the top corner of our schedule, top corner, top part of our schedule, um, it is from Monday to Thursday when uh, students are staying at Grand River Academy. This is how their day is going to look like. So the wake up time is at 7.30 and from eight o'clock to three o'clock in the afternoon is our instruction time. Of course, lunch is included in during that time um, but students are going to stay in the classroom they're going to work on their projects like they're going to build drones they're going to build robots they're going to launch rockets they're going to do different um, steam topic projects so and then between 3 50 and 5 45 is the afternoon activity time um, or athletic time we want the students to get active uh, we don't want them to stay in the room all day because Ohio summer is obviously very beautiful and it's not too hot. Um, it's very nice. We want students to get outside and do something active. So from 6 o'clock to 6.30 is the dinner time. And after dinner between um, 6.45 to 8.15 is going to be an off-campus little tour for students to spend some time by the Lake Erie or do some obstacle courses, mini golf, you know, little activities like that. And then from 8.30 to 10.30 is the evening study hall. And after 10.30 is the lights out time. So you can see the daily schedule is very structured for the students to experience and enjoy the day. Um, on Friday, uh, we will shuttle students to Kent State main campus, and that's mm -hmm. the exciting part. Um, that's more going to be more exciting because they're going to be um, in a, a real college uh, with a real college classroom and real college cutting cutting edge lab and mm -hmm. get that full-fledged experience from a college professor. Mm -hmm. So as you can so, see, first Friday, yeah. yeah? There are like tiny mini workshops that we were working with students. So on first two Fridays, students will be working with engineer and computer science related workshops. And on the second two weeks, students will be, second two Fridays morning, students will be doing the robotic lab uh, workshops. And then that allows students to have enough time to do some research and uh, uh, learn some skills and knowledge and also have some time to be able to actually build something on their own. And uh, uh, every Friday, there will be a schedule about an hour for lunch. Students can relax a little bit during that time. And in the afternoon, uh, the first and the third Fridays are two different uh, architecture-themed uh, workshop as well, too. So students can also, uh, the way they design it, to do half the time to be able to learn something with a computer, on a software, another half they can do the group project to work on a structure together. And then on the on the second uh, Fridays, students will be able to do a campus tour, uh, a, a lab campus tour to taking students to uh, different buildings on campus to feature the different programs, academic programs we have. And in the afternoon, students can attending our rec center, the state of art recreation center. There is a feature, uh, a swimming pool, a swirler pool, a jacuzzi, um a running an indoor running and then there's also the basketball court the climbing walls and students can also uh do the indoor racket balls and the indoor soccer field as well too there's a lot of things students can do with our rec center uh, we actually have the one of the best rec centers in the country and then the last friday students will be having a closing ceremony to showcase the things they have learned, but also time being recognized for their hard work. Yes, as you can see, um, the schedule is very um, full and it will be very exciting. So thank you so much, Color, for joining um, the info session together. And um, if you have any questions regarding to the summer program, please reach out to me or to Ms. Color and um, have any questions, we'll have the questions answered for you. Thank you very much for participating, and um, I look forward to see all of you in summer. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.